The 2021 Lincoln Nautilus The Nautilus was seemingly lost between the compact Corsair and the larger Aviator. For the 2021 model, Lincoln decided to give it a refresh and make it relevant again. It continues to be powered by the same engine and more or less looks the same from the outside, save for the three new exterior shades. However, the biggest change comes inside the cabin, where Lincoln has put a lot of effort. It looks vastly different and is heavy on technology. The highlight is the new 13.2-inch touchscreen that runs on the SYNC 4 infotainment system. Will this help get some extra volume for Lincoln? How is it on the outside? The Nautilus tries to come across as a sophisticated-looking SUV, but I'm not sure if everyone feels the same. There are no striking elements about its aesthetics, but it does look a little too blingy with all the chrome on it. If I had to sum it up, the Lincoln Nautilus is an acquired taste and not something that pleases everyone. In the base trim, the 2021 Nautilus rides on 18-inch aluminum wheels wrapped in 245 60th section all-season tires. 20-inch wheels with 245 50th section all-season tires can be had as an option. The higher trims feature 20 and 21-inch machined aluminum wheels. These are wrapped in 265 40th section all-season tires. The rear features a run-across LED taillight strip right below the bold, Lincoln, lettering. Is it just me or do the taillights remind you of the Tesla Model S, lights? The automaker has added three new colors this time around, Asher Gray, Flight Blue, Green Gem. The other nine exterior shades on offer include Artisan Blue Burgundy Velvet Ceramic Pearl Iced Mocha Infinite Black Pristine White Red Carpet Silver Radiance Chroma Elite Copper, available only on black label trim. The new Nautilus measures 190 inches in length, 78.7 inches in width, and 66.2 inches in height. It has a wheelbase of 112.2 inches. The tracks are almost equally wide, with the front track measuring 64.8 inches and the rear track measuring 64.7 inches. The curb weight for the four-cylinder model is rated at 4,165 pounds with the front-wheel drive system and 4,339 pounds with the all-wheel drive system. The V6 model weighs a hefty 4,545 pounds. How is it on the inside? The cabin on the 2021 Nautilus is a revelation. The old design is ditched in favor of a new center console with premium material for an upmarket feel. The piano finish is prominent all around the console. Behind the three-spoke steering wheel is a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster. Lincoln has also offered four interior colors to choose from, ebony, ebony, roast, sandstone, slate. The black label trim comes with a super plush interior, chalet, theme that includes silverwood appliques, cashmere leather wraps on seats and headliner, and so on. A new theme will debut in 2021 called the Flight. The highlight of the cabin, however, is the new, big 13.2-inch touchscreen system that runs the SYNC4 infotainment system. It supports over-the-air updates and features wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, but also allows owners to use their phones as a key. In the first row, the Nautilus offers headroom of 39.9 inches, legroom of 42.8 inches, shoulder room of 58.9 inches, and hip room of 56.4 inches. The same dimensions for the rear stand at 39.2 inches, 39.6 inches, 59 inches, and 55.6 inches, respectively. The five-seater offers a cargo space of 37.2 cubic feet with all seats in place, and 68.8 cubic feet of space with the second row flipped down. What's under the hood? The 2021 Lincoln Nautilus is offered with two engine options. The base one is a 2.0-liter, four-cylinder turbocharged engine that makes 250 horses and 280 pound-feet of torque. Power is sent to the front wheels via an 8-speed automatic transmission. You can also opt for the all-wheel drive system here. The other powertrain is a 2.7-liter, twin-turbo V6 mill that dishes out 335 ponies and 380 pound-feet of twist. Here, power is sent to all the wheels via the same 8-speed automatic gearbox as standard. 
Both the engine options also feature an auto start-stop system. The V6 engine option can be had with adaptive suspension, too. With the optional Class 2 trailer tow package, the 2021 Lincoln Nautilus can tow up to 3,500 pounds. Are there any packages offered with the 2021 Lincoln Nautilus? The 2021 Lincoln Nautilus comes with six different packages that you can opt for. They are Elements Package Heated Rear Seats and Steering Wheel Rain Sensing Wipers Lincoln Copilot 360 Plus Package 360 Degree Camera Adaptive Cruise Control with Stop and Go in Lane Centering Distance Alert Distance Indication Enhanced Active Park Assist Evasive Steering Assist Front Sensing Cargo Utility Package 110 volts, 150 WAC power outlet cargo compartment with reversible matte interior cargo cover molded plastic storage bins and spare tire vanity cover rear cargo management system Class 2 trailer tow package Trailer hitch and trailer sway control max towing 3,500 pounds, but needs to be opted with the cargo utility package if opting for the four-cylinder, it comes with select shift capability with paddle shifters Monochromatic package 20-inch black aluminum wheels body colored badging with chrome lettering grille Black lower with painted black fog lamp accent trim and unique body color mesh upper This package can only be had with infinite black or asher gray exterior shades Ultimate package 21-inch machined aluminum wheels wrapped in all-season Gen 2 Section 265 40 its tires full LED multi-projector headlamps with adaptive dynamic bending lighting LED fog lamps Revel Ultima audio system with 19 speakers How much does it cost? Lincoln hasn't announced the pricing of the 2021 Nautilus yet, but we don't expect a significant hike over the 2020 model. The current Lincoln Nautilus is priced as follows. Standard $41,040 Reserve $48,500 Black Label $63,800 Final Thoughts Even if looks matter to you and you don't find the 2021 Nautilus to be very good looking, you should still consider it purely for its cabin. The interior is, without a doubt, the selling point for the Nautilus. The 13.2-inch touchscreen with the SYNC 4 system will have tech heads drool all over it. The two engine options available on the Nautilus offer ample punch and won't leave you complaining. The pricing is not yet out, but it shouldn't be more than a thousand bucks in the top trim. The SUV will continue to be built at the automaker's Oakville Assembly Complex in Ontario, Canada. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.